Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to be creating our first product in PrestaShop. By the end of this video, you'll have a good idea about how you can go forward and produce your products for your own store within PrestaShop. So check it out, we're gonna create our product now. Okay, so now we're ready to create our first product. Let's go ahead and go to Catalog and then Products. Once we're on our products page, we can see the products that have already existed in our store, as well as some information about them. Now let's go ahead and click the add new product button to get started adding a new product. So we have different product types. We have a pack of existing products. We have a standard product and we have a virtual product. These would be uh, services, downloadable products. Um, maybe you're paying for a booking or something like that. We're just gonna have a standard product for this example and we're gonna give it a name. And this is just going to be an HTML five sticker. And at any point, if you need to know what any of these things are, like a reference code, you can hover over and it says, this is an internal reference code for this product, allow for special characters. And you, that way you can use uh, underscores, periods, hyphens, pound signs, that sort of thing. Uh, we also have an EAN, an EIN 13 or a JAN barcode. Now it says this type of product code is specific to Europe and Japan and is widely used internationally. It's a superset of the UPC. So as you can see, we have all of these different options and none of them which are required, but if you wanted to add your UPC information there, you could. All right, next we wanna make sure this is checked to enabled because we want this product to show up and we want it to be visible everywhere. Now, if you were to have catalog only, search only, or nowhere, uh, if nowhere would obviously not drop anywhere, search only would come up in search, and catalog only would not come up in search, but would come up when you're looking through your catalog in the front end of your store. Since we want this to show up everywhere, let's just check everywhere. And it's available for order, so we can leave that checked. We obviously want the price to be shown, and we can check that it's online only, because we only have an online store. The condition, is new. This allows you to select things like used or refurbished. And now we can add a short description. Small sticker of the H HTML5 logo. Okay. Copy that. And then we're going to have a longer description. And is orange and black. Okay. Maybe you wanna put uh, more information here. In a second, we're gonna show you after we create this product where each of these shows up. If you're curious about more information, anything that's highlighted in blue like we showed you before, you can hover over. So this, as it says, appears in the body of the product page. Next, we wanna add some tags. So you can see we just need to add commas separating our tags. So we can just say this is a sticker, it's orange, And there we go. So we just have two tags there. Now if we click save and stay, it'll allow us to save this page and continue editing. If we click save, as you'll see, it's going to kick you back to the products page. Okay, so now let's scroll down and let's see our sticker here. You'll notice that there's a lot of things missing. We don't have a photo. Uh, we don't have a price. We didn't ever set up stock. So let's click back into the edit screen and you can see on the left hand side here, we have a whole bunch of more options to add. Right here under prices, we can change the wholesale price, which will just be $2. The retail price will be $5 because this is an expensive sticker. And we can set up tax rules if you'd like. However, uh, we have built in just the uh, generic tax rate for each state. So since I'm in Michigan, I'm gonna select Michigan's 6% sales tax. And you can even have a unit price if you'd like. Uh, that way, if people are buying more, they can get a discount. Now, if you were to modify this price and you want it to be on sale, you could always click this checkbox and then your users will see a badge that says on sale on the product page. Next, let's come to SEO. Here we can give our product a meta title. This can just be HTML5 sticker. And then if you wanna give this a description, you can. Let's click save and stay. You'll notice that when we change tabs here, even though we didn't click save and stay after changing our price, it kept our price information. So even coming between tabs here, you're not going to lose your information. Now we can give this some categories if you'd like. Right now it's just in the home category. So let's click expand all. And now we can add this for fun. Let's just add this to women's 
Tabs t-shirts. That way we can make sure that it's there on the site after we save this. Okay, now next we have shipping. And here we're going to give this a package with height, depth, weight. That way it can calculate correct shipping. Now you'll notice that none of this information is required, so we don't have to put this information in. Now next we have combinations. This is something we'll go over in a later video. We have quantities. This allows you to manage available quantities for your product. So uh, by default, all we need to add is how many we have in stock. Let's say we have 100 of these. Each time we sell one, it's going to remove one from our inventory. And you'll notice that it's going to deny orders when out of stock. You can also have a continue to allow orders when out of stock or just have it be whatever your store's default is, which ours is set to deny. Let's go ahead and add an image in the next tab. Let's click add files. Okay, now that we've added a file, let's click upload. And you can see we now have our image here. Um, we don't really have any features, but if you had a height, width, maybe that sort of thing, if you wanted to put in your values for how the size, the dimensions of this, you could do that here. Next, we have customization. if you wanted to add any additional file fields or text fields. And if you wanted to have any file attachments, you could attach them here. Next, we would have our list of suppliers. Now we only have a fashion supplier in here by default. We'll show you how to create new suppliers in a later video. But so for now, we're just going to check our fashion supplier. And let's click save because we should be all set here. Okay, now if we scroll down, we see our sticker has some more information. It has an image. It has a price and it has a quantity and it has a green check mark. So let's come to our store. Let's go to women's t-shirts. And let's scroll down and here is our sticker. You can see that we can add it to cart and it's been added or we can click on the product title here and see our information, a small sticker with the HTML5 logo and scroll down further for the additional information. You can see this is our long description and this is our short description. So just like that, we've added our first product and we're ready to get started adding the rest of our catalog. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.